Today, in this video, I will be showing you how to do a binder check. Let's get started. This is a binder check. Binder checks are weekly, so every Monday. They help students keep track of their assignments and ensure organization. The first part to a binder check is writing down your grades. First, you have to write down the letter grade, then the percentage for each class. Then, you would write down the number of missing assignments for each class. Finally, you would write down your goals. I would suggest making realistic and easy to achieve goals. For example, if you have a 79% in math, you would want to have your goal be 80% rather than 100. It's best to go slowly. So after you get that 80%, you get an 85, then try to get a 90, then try to get a 95, and then finally you can try to get 100%. <clears throat> After you write down all of that, you would calculate your GPA. Doing this helps students and parents monitor the student's grades. If the student does happen to get a B- minus or lower in any of their classes, they must get a parent signature. The next part of the binder check is to check out your field planner. I will be using a random page from my planner as an example. Planners must always be filled out when the tutor is checking them. Remember, please do not fill them out right before the tutor will check them, or else you will get a zero. <clears throat> it is best to fill out your planner before every class and write down your homework. Filling out your planner helps students remember assignments, test dates, and due dates. Remember, planners must also be legible. The third part of a binder check is checking binder organization. Papers should always be in chronological order. Pockets in your binder cannot be used. It is suggested that you would duct tape them to resist the temptation of using them. There can be no loose papers in your binder. Some students may use the excuse that their papers aren't hole punched. If your papers aren't hole punched, you can always hole punch them yourself or use a sheet protector. An important part of binder organization is knowing that you have dividers. These are dividers. Dividers must always be labeled. They must also be placed in chronological order by your period. So if your first period is ELA, it must go in the front. If your second period is AVID, it would go behind ELA, etc. Notes should also be placed behind the correct <clears throat> divider. Papers should also be in chronological order. As I mentioned before, pockets are not allowed in binders. So if your dividers do have pockets, it's suggested that you would duct tape them to resist temptation of using them. The next part of a binder check is checking your TRFs. This is a TRF. TRF stands for Tutorial Request Form. <clears throat> Two of them will be handed back to you on Monday from the week before. TRFs normally help students with the point of confusion in a problem. So you would start off by writing the original question. Remember to source where you got the problem from. Then you would write down key academic vocabulary relating to the original question. You would then write down what you know about the initial question. Then you would write down how you would go about solving that question. Then you would write down general processes and steps to solving your problem. Finally, you would write down your point of confusion of the problem. You must show both of the TRFs you get back to your tutors to get credit. This is an example of a filled out TRF. As you can see, I have my original question as well as the source from where I got the question. Next, I have my vocabulary and what I know about the <clears throat> is the initial question. Then I have my critical thinking as well as my process and finally my POC.
The next part of the binder check are the notes. Your teacher will give you a number of notes that you will have to complete in the week to show your tutors for the binder check. Notes include a topic, an essential question, notes, questions about the notes, and then a summary based off of your notes. For an example of focus notes, I will be showing you guys one from my science notebook. As you can see, I have my topic, my EQ, my notes, questions about the notes, and then a summary. Finally, after your binder check is done, you can now check the points. Binder checks are worth 40% of your grade, so it's important you get all the points possible. Overall organization is worth 20 points. Planner completion is also worth 20 points. Your TRFs are worth 60 points. Focus notes are worth 30 points each, and the number of focus notes you have depends on the amount that your teacher assigns you. Your grades <clears throat> are now are also worth 20 points. So that brings us to the end of our video. I hope you learned a lot about binder checks. Good luck!